yourself to the Creator. He created you, and He wants you to be connected to Him. So the only way that you can do it is through yourself. And yourself, your inner connection, is an inner connection, is through your soul, through your emotions, through your thoughts. So you must count on yourself and to work and to fight on that, to be who that you are. And not to let no one, even if he's going to be called the righteous man of the generation, the greatest one of the generation, the most important, the most accepted, the mo I'm sorry, I will not going to let him turn me off because I want also to have my connection with the Creator. And I do feel that it exists. I do feel that when I'm dancing, that when I'm happy, that when I'm singing to myself. A couple of days ago, I went to do it Bodhidut, and I felt like I can't speak. I don't have no words. And a few days before, my wife and I, we heard a certain song, and I had that tune in my, in my, in my head, and, it, and it's a regular song. It's not a song of prayer. But I just kept on thinking about that music and I was playing it to myself in my mind. And then I said to myself, you know, maybe you're going to pray with that music. And I just start singing to myself in the field at night, ba basing my prayer on, the, on that tune, on that music. And I was just singing to Hashem. My own prayer, in my own language, with my own things, with my own way, with my own music, with the music that I like. It wasn't Hasidic music, it wasn't music of Breslev, and especially not of Rabbi Nachman of Bre It was just a random song that my wife and I, we like. So I just used the music to open myself, that, and, and it gave me, and it, and it was the key. It just it opened the gates of it, Bodhidut, for me. And in that, that night, I made a wonderful it, Bodhidut. And only because of that, only because that I followed my heart. I was allowing myself to be who that I am. In front of that rabbi, to do it what they do like that. No, the people... When you're with Hashem, and that's what you want to be, with Hashem, so you must be who that you are. Because if you're not going to let yourself be who that you are in front of Hashem, so you're lying to Hashem. And a liar person cannot stand in front of the Creator. Dover shkarim loikon leneged A liar person cannot stand in front of the Creator. And even if you feel embarrassed with your truth, it's time to work on your self-esteem. And just to understand that God he loves you, unconditional love, as who that you are. And He doesn't want to change you. And He doesn't may want to make you different. He just wants you to be who that you are. If He would want to make you different, He would create you different. Or He would change you. It's in the abilities of the Creator to create and design the creations as He wish. And if He keeps you as you are, with your sense of humor, and with your lackings, and with your thoughts, and even with your fears, it means that that's how He wants you to be. And it doesn't mean that you cannot want to change, or to work on yourself, or to, but you need to climb up from who that you are. And you need to grow. So first of all, you need to accept that creation. You need to accept yourself. I have my weaknesses. One person sees cars. That's it. He's losing his mind. Other one, he sees money. He's losing his mind. Another person, he feels like he can receive honor. That's it. He's, 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 he's out of his mind. He will do everything to receive a compliment, to, to get one good word from someone. That's him. That's you. It can be me. And if I'm not going to accept my lackings, if I'm not going to see who that I am, I will never going to be able to solve my problem.